Hey guys, Dan here from VHX411. Today in front of me, I have a Mercedes AAM module. And I will show you how the cloning process is done of reading the original key, coding data, and transferring it to the donor AAM module. Now, these modules, they fail a lot. Now, what I mean by fail a uh, lot, over time, this car is old, and of course, these processors, over time, do not hold the data. So every time, for instance, this particular one from this customer, his alarm goes on randomly in the middle of the night. So the hardware is good, the processor data just kind of tweaks and then triggers the alarm. Now, what we're gonna do is we already remove the processor from the original one and i read it and now we're going to remove this one read it and write this information from the original into the donor so the customer can start the car the remote works and all the coding is correct um, i definitely already did the original read that way we're not wasting any time so we're going to first remove this processor and read it and write the original data. Now, I tried reading that with Orange. We tried reading it with Autel, Programmer, Car Probe, Abritas on car, because some of these Abritas can read it on the car. All failed. So every single one of those failed. In circuits, there's some option you can actually solder and try reading it everything fails so i had to remove it put it on the board so i'm using today is the multi programmer this is the new from x horse so i will be using this guy with xdn p41 adapter this is for the mc68 hc05 x32 processor and let's get this out of the way and get this thing going now, a lot of these, like I said, the processors fail. There are processors where you can buy from Motorola. that are like a hundred bucks. So in order to, instead of buying a donor that who knows when this can fail, just reading the original data and then programming to a new memory MPU and then just writing it into it. So reading from the original writing into the good MPU and it will be a good unit. All right, let me first, what I'm gonna do, I already marked my pin number one. I already put my foil, sometimes I don't do, but since the camera's kind of in my way, I kind of want to make sure. And every time I remove stuff or solder it back on, we need to use lots of flux. This definitely helps with removing and soldering back in there. So, put lots of flux. All right, so this is the flux that I'm using, liquid flux. And we're gonna start our heat gun. So while that is heating up. Now, if you don't have any of these programmers and can't read it and you need to read the data, I'll leave a link below to harmonauto.com where you can have this service done if you need it. It's smoking a lot. Obviously I can wear my respirator or have my fan on for this need to talk so let's speed this guy up pretty good it takes about 30 40 seconds just make it 
clean already, that way I don't have to re-solder it. Melt the pins and <clears throat> get the smoke out. All right, now, once done, since we heated this area up, don't lift the foil because sometimes when you lift the foil it has little resistors around it it will lift those up so just leave it let it dry out get it out of the way now actually i'm gonna remove this one also since Technically, you can call this a EEPROM or MPU, actually, removing method. So, let me just remove it from here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is place my donor processor. Let me zoom in so you can see. There's a mark over here, a dot, and over here. So this is pin number one. Same goes here. You can see this processor has a little dot right here. That will be our pin number one. So let me get some flux in there and line it up. Where did I put it? Right here. All right. Let me add more. It seems like it's running low or something. Maybe should be in here. Okay. Let me line it up. Should be good. Let's warm up again my fan. Heat fan. And let it melt in there. out <clears throat> all right once it dries out 
I will go over it with this thing as well. So, with a little bit of solder iron, just to make sure I have a good connection and nothing will short out in there. So, again, I'll just put a little bit extra. flux in there Okay. Now the tip I'm gonna be using is this kind of tip, not a sharp one. And all I'm gonna do is just go over. This will make sure I have a good connection. And of course, if any solder from heating up with a fan and it bubbled up in there, it won't short out. make sure no solder between the pins no solder here no solder here between the pins and here we're good All right, let me while this is cooling off always make sure it cools off let me clean it up a little bit clean up my flux See the bubbles in there still move hot. Huh? Okay. All right. Now while it's heating up, I will go to my laptop. Now that you see. I got my multi-pro set up over here. This is MC68HC705. And of course, this is X32. And like I said, car pro, fail. Autel, fail. And of course, we did with orange, also fail. So uh, why I failed, I'll show you. This is the original I read from a customer. So the data read is very nice. You got the F organized writing in each slot. Let's get this hotel out of here. Now, in circuit, I tried to read. This is the, with orange. It's very messy. It's, I mean, I read it several times, verified that like this is a good read, but it's not. It has to be like this. So that's why we have to remove it. Otherwise, in circuit, sometimes you might do a clone it won't be able to read a good read. You might clone it, but it's gonna be bad. Now, setting up my, let me zoom out, connecting it actually to my multiprog. Power it on, and of course, we're, the rest we're gonna do on our laptop, so. Powered it on, and we will hit Read. Okay, so device connection is successful. Read. Now over here you can see it's trying to read. 
So it's initializing, connection good, configuration success, chip power read, chip connection. So, so we know we've soldered it on there pretty good and it's starting to read. Okay, so chip data read error. We are going to set our programmer power supply to 3.3 volts because it does not want to read it with lower volts. Now let's do that and see if it read it. Look how fast this thing read it and it's 100% read. Verified, very good read. I'm actually very happy with this new multi probe tool. I will be making another video for Renegade processor reading and writing, also secure processor. So that one is actually also the only one actually that I can read. I, I had a Britus try read it, other programmers try read it, no success. So that one is actually the multi probe is what I'm talking about is actually a good tool that I like so far. All right, this guy is a Canada customer. We'll put donor and this is the donor read. And now I have it set up as original here. Now the Canada original read. This is a donor read. Because I had it with orange, this is what it is right here. It's fail. So donor read right here. This is the original. And you can see very good read. Some bytes stay the same, nothing changed. But of course, the rest of the key information and door lock and coding is different. So what we're gonna do is write this original into this processor, solder it back in, and it should be good. Now, why I'm not soldering the old processor in there, as you heard, because it randomly triggers the alarm and these processors tend to fail. So we're not gonna be doing that. Now, open up the file. I will go to Canada, guy, and original. And it will be original read. Let's see. Oh gee, this is it, open. Now we'll click write. And this thing's pretty quick on writing also. Look at that, start writing, buffer all. Boom, start verification. That's it. It's, I really, really love how fast it reads it and writes it. Now I'll just read it to verify I had a good write on here. Okay, so ended the process, I read it. I'll just save it and I'll save it as Canada Donor Verify. Verify. My verify didn't spell right, but I don't care. It's just a file that I'm gonna verify. Now I'm gonna hit number two and I'm gonna do Canada. Donor verify, boom, excellent, right. So what I'm gonna do, obviously, put this processor back in the AAM module and same process of what I did, heating it up, melting it in there, cleaning it up, and it's good to go. I'm not gonna waste any more of your guys' time. If you need this service done for your AAM module or any Mercedes module that has this processor, the, the HC05 or 705 X32, we can read it and write it. Otherwise, thanks for watching, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.